Hey there, it's Mary with Mary Stampin' Cafe. I'm here today just kicking it with kits. Stampin' Up! has some fabulous kits from a monthly paper pumpkin subscription to two fabulous kits that were, are released every month. Now, I have two of the kits to share that are just to show you what kind of kits you can get. And um, who are kits good for? Well, they're good for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now, they're perfect for those of you who are very busy, who maybe you don't have many crafting supplies, and you really don't think you're a very crafty person, but you'd like to try it. That makes a perfect kit person. Let me show you this first one here. This is a kit that is just all consumable. What does that mean? It means that you are getting in a beautiful box, all the supplies you need to put together three, six, nine cards with envelopes for this particular one. This is called the Painted Wishes Kit. This is beautiful. You can see the examples and you create them just like they're shown. And this is what it looks like on the back side. It's all packaged together. You get everything you need. This has some beautiful gold twine. It has tear and tape. It's got beautiful sequins. And let's see what else this kit has. This particular kit does not have any exclusive stamp set. It also doesn't have any ink included. And that makes the price point quite reasonable because all you're doing is putting together your cards that have already been designed, stamped, these beautiful envelopes. Nine beautiful envelopes. Oh, some gorgeous green. And then look at these already layered beautiful pieces. And the card bases, so beautiful. Just beautiful. And some more parts and pieces. You then have your sentiments. Thank you for your kindness. They come in some different languages as well. Some more card bases. And these beautiful, I love the foil, um, the foil of the sentiments here. And more card bases. And beautiful, beautiful labels here. I feel so blessed to have a wonderful, kind, and amazing friend like you. That is just great. Now let's take a look at the pamphlet. Oh, what else do we have here? Like I said, we have the sequins. You also have dimensionals. You have the tear and tape and the gold twine. They always come with instructions, a beautifully folded out instruction for each of the projects that you are doing. And these cards go together lickety split. Now, that's perfect for people who are not avid crafters, who don't have many crafting supplies, but you can create these gorgeous, beautiful cards to give to friends and family at a very reasonable cost and you then feel like you've you've added to your creative experience. Now, that is that quick and easy, already done for you kind of kit. The price point of these kits are very, very reasonable, under $20. And then the other kit that Stampin' Up! has are ones that include a complete exclusive stamp set, a stamping spot for ink, plus everything you need to create your projects. That's the thing about the kits. You don't need any of your extra supplies at all for these kits. Now this is a birthday sparkle kit. Look at how fun these are. Three six, nine, and 12. This particular kit has 12 projects. I love the tags. 
that you have thinking about doing some sort of birthday for a loved one. So these are packaged very similarly. This one you have your beautiful stamp set. We've got some balloons and sprinkles, sentiments. You've got your stamping spot, the early espresso. So you, again, don't need any extra supplies. So if you are really limited in your budget or limited in your room for being able to have lots of crafting supplies, kits are perfect. Now, this one has something also included that the others that are consumable do not. You get a stamping block. This stamping block comes with every kit that has a stamp set so that you can mount your photopolymer stamp onto your block for stamping. This one also has some great baker's twine. If I can get my bag open. <laughs> There's some great baker's twine, and then I also see there are some, are these uh, toothpick-like things. Let's take a look at our beautiful instructions. Yes, that's the little sticks that you need for your star accent. So again, you get your wonderful direction pamphlet that shows you each step for making your projects. That is a great one. So then, everything else is similar to what I just showed you with the Painted Wishes. You get some adhesive dots. You're getting, oh, gold glimmer little balloons or teardrops that, or drops, it looks like. Some gold um, cupcake liners, and there are those stars. You've got our layering. Oh, I love this. That's going to pop out of there. That's fantastic. This is fantastic because if you look at this card right here, you're using this frame, but it doesn't look like you're necessarily using these. And so you actually have extra pieces to use on future projects when you start feeling a little bit more experienced and creative. I love the gold line envelopes. And here we have our gold fo foiled craft cards and our other card base. And then here comes those fun tags and the base of our cupcake and balloons. And then of course, our cupcake top, our balloons, our banners that you then decorate with your stamp set. What's really great, when you're working on your project, you can store them right into the box. It keeps it organized. So you can only work on part of it, and there you go. Now, I am an avid stamper, and so you might ask, well, how are kits good for you or good for me as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator? I'm an avid stamper. I have tons and tons of crafting supplies, but you know what? I absolutely love the Stampin' Up! kits because I can go ahead and craft these kits just like they were designed when I simply want to sit back and let somebody else do the creativity for me. I also love taking my kits with me when I go, say, for a long weekend or I go on a trip where I'm gonna be spending some time in a hotel room and I need something to keep me busy. I love my kits for that. One more thing that I love my kits for. I love taking what Stampin' Up! has designed in the kits, which is beautiful. Their artistry is fabulous. The creativity is wonderful. But I can take what they have and I can go ahead and put my own spin and my own take on it. So let me share with you what I mean. This is one of the newest kits from June. This is called the Expressions of Kindness Kit. And look at those beautiful, beautiful florals. And I'll show you the pamphlet so you can see them even a little bit closer. Look at the beautiful soft colors in there. We've got Lost Lagoon and um, Blackberry Bliss. And there's just beautiful, beautiful colorings and design. You can see the beautiful flower here. 
and there's gold accented um, leaves and things. Absolutely beautiful. So in this kit, you're also getting a roll of this beautiful white ribbon. You get that exclusive stamp set. You're getting a Blackberry Bliss spot. And then you're getting your block, these beautiful gold glitter embellishments, Stampin' Dimensionals, and mini glue dots. All of those things, and like I said, these kits give you everything you need. And this particular kit is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards with envelopes. Now, I wanna share with you, because I only have a little bit left in this kit. And let me show you what I mean. I have created some cards using the card bases. Aren't they beautiful in this kit? The kindness expressions, all that gold detail going through. There's also, check out the beautiful envelope. My goodness, how gorgeous is that? Just beautiful. And that's it, you guys. I have a couple labels left. And then I have these really little pieces and parts that I cut apart for some projects. And I'm gonna share with you four alternative projects I created using this Kindness Expressions kit. And here again are the projects. You can see that card right there. And then this one right here. Those were the two designs. Now this particular kit, what was interesting about it is that the card base, do I have one of the card bases? Yes. This card base is on both sides. Now on this side, you've got that beautiful foiling detail. There's a little frame and then the foil branches here. So one of the things I really like to do is I like to get more bang for my buck. So I will actually cut this right in half and I will have two card fronts that I can use and mount onto other card stocks and things. This one here, what I really liked about this one is you've got this kind of off-white and it's a bit like has grainy detail through it, almost sandy looking. And I did the same thing there. So let me show you my projects that I did. These are alternative projects and I'll share with you what I did and how I achieved what I did. Now this particular first card I'm going to share with you is similar to the layout of the first card. Let me find that first card in here. All right. So this card right here, what it called for you to do is to take the beautiful um, flowers and greenery and the foil one and layer it on top with then some ribbon and the sentiment, okay? So what I did is I took the card base and I cut it in half and then I cut this piece to five and a quarter by four and that is my first layer on my Lost Lagoon card base. Now I knew Lost Lagoon was one of the colors in here so that's the base of my card. Then I'm using the back side of this at five and a quarter by four and then I took the front of the card and I cut this down to four and a half by three and a half. And then the four and a half, I went ahead and I cut my pieces at one and a half inch and I separated them to give a little bit more interest. And then I stamped the lattice, which is right here in the stamp set. I stamped that a couple of times in the Lost Lagoon. I used my Memento black ink for my sentiment. And then I took the gold and I layered it behind. And then I took the flowering here. Now one of the things I did is this flower got covered up under this sentiment. So I went ahead and I cut that flower off and I mounted it right here with dimensionals. I put mini dimensional up under this flower and these leaves. This leaf has dimensional and I think this one has dimensional. So both of those leaves are raised up with dimensions, and then I use the, the gems for this alternative, and then I did the little hatching on the inside of the card as well. I don't know that you can see it. My light is pretty bright. 
Maybe I'll bring my light down just a little bit more so you can see better. There we go. All right. <laughs> so I really like how this one came out. Um, again, it was very similar to the original. I just kind of took it on a little bit. I like to have my sentiments down. I don't like them in the center of my cards. So there's that one. Now let's take a look at this second one. Let me cover those up. I don't want you to see. So this is the base card that has both designs on the front and back. So this particular piece is this front and I cut it down at three and three quarters by five. Then I did a layer of Berry Burst. Um, I did not have Blackberry Bliss cardstock, but I think the Berry Burst goes fabulous with this. And then I have, again, the Lost Lagoon base. Now, something on this one, again, you can see that I've added a bit of that gold branches down here, and I've added another additional flower. So I took one of the flowers, just like I did here, with the flower and all the greenery, and I simply clipped off one of the flowers to peek out under the sentiment. Something else I did here is I layered my sentiments. So you get in this kit, let me see if I can find, these beautiful ones right here, and then you also then received ones that are longer, that are just the Lost Lagoon. So I went ahead and I took and layered the Lost Lagoon on top of this one to give it a just more substantial taking up of the card. And there I'm using the white beautiful ribbon and the gems again. And then on the inside, I don't want to waste anything. And so when you cut down your card fronts and you cut it in half and then start cutting them down for layers, you'll get these beautiful strips. And I use that there for that. So that's card two. Okay. Now let's take a look at the other one that I used here. Now for this one, this is the back side of the card you can see here. Now I also did some stamping. In the stamp set you get this fun stamp right here. And that is kind of giving the flowers a little bit more um, uh, focal and not so washy looking. And so I did that here, but I also then did a spotlight. I took a one and three quarter punch circle with Lost Lagoon. This is a one and a half inch circle. I popped it out, then I mounted it back together again, lined it up and spotlighted that flower. There you go. And then you can see here, I again took some of the gold accent stems and I cut pieces off of them. And I had them come here and here and then my sentiment and the white ribbon and gems. So there's a third one. Now this one, again, had a beautiful leftover piece, so I added it right inside with some white cardstock and wishing you the happiest of birthdays. There's number three. And let's take a look at number four. What I did with number four is I ended up with pieces like this. <laughs> um, I also still had one of these beautiful gold pieces. So I had those. I also had a couple of little flowers that I still hadn't used. And so what I did is I first saw that I had a piece that went right along this edge here. So here's my card. What I did with this one, I took the Lost Lagoon card base and I took the back side and I made that my first layer of five and a quarter by four. Then I took the front of the card, I cut it at three and three quarters by five and I mounted that up with dimensionals. You can see I have that dimension. I wanted to kind of have that tone on tone and raising up this piece here allowed me to do that. 
Now, I first had this piece right here of greenery, and I glued that down right along the edge, and it did kind of come off, so I just clipped it. And then I just simply started taking of the leftover flowers I had and popped one here. I then put one on top here, and then you can also see a little bit of those gold pieces of the stem peeking out there. I put a dimensional under this flower and these leaves and a dimensional right under this flower so they would stand up a bit more. From there I used one of the labels and I used the Unbounded Love stamp set for With Sympathy and then on the inside of the card I used the saying My Heart Goes Out to You from the Unbounded Love for a sympathy card. I, you know, it's interesting, but I think this card is my favorite. And one of the reasons for that is, you know, when you get down to little parts of your kit, you wonder, what do I do with these parts and pieces? Well, this one was the most organic one being created. I had already done the other three cards. And like I said, I had just these little parts and pieces left. And you can see I still have a bit more here. So there are four cards that I created using the Kindest Expressions kit that is one of the current kits. It's one of the newer ones from June. Now, what I was thinking is I would like to think about now how do I utilize what I have and one of the things I noticed that I really love is the gorgeous envelopes. Now there are two styles of this envelope. There's this one here that has this just a beautiful um, accenting of this, the flowers. And then there's this one right here. Well, I decided that I'm gonna take this envelope and I am going to do a little more crafting. I have a couple of pieces here. I do not have any flowers, so I'm gonna carefully come in here and see if I can go ahead and open up my envelope. I don't even think I need to open my envelope, but I'm going to. Oop, this one's not gonna be very cooperative. Go up under here and come in from here. See if I can get this under. There we go. Whoop. See if I can get this. It will be okay if I can't. There we go. These envelopes are just so beautiful, but I thought, why not use them for this card? And so what I'm going to do is grab my trimmer and we'll see about making a fifth alternative project. And I'm going to come in and just cut right along the lines, the folded lines. And now what you're saying to yourself is, but you are losing one of your envelopes by doing that. But you know what? It'll be okay because what I can do is I'll be able to take this envelope and this liner part of the envelope, just trying to get things straight. So let's measure and see what we have here. Now, I want a layer, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a five and a quarter. And if you hear that noise, <laughs> that is my husband, who is working. All right, so that's a five and a quarter, now by four. And so I wanna keep my flowers. So I've got, right now I've got a four and a quarter. So I'm just going to come down an eighth and slice it off. Then I'm going to turn it around and do another eighth. So I'll be at four. 
there we are. Then what I thought I would do is I'm going to grab a thick basic white. I thought it might be fun to do a white base, so we'll do it four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, and then we'll do by five and a half. There we are. So then from there, I'm going to see about what other layer I'm going to do. Ooh. Let's get that folded correctly. So I think this card really lends itself to going this way. And I'm sorry, but I did not layer my card base down very well on my cutter. And I'm going to take a little bit more off this because I want it to be five. by three and three quarter. So I'll do an eighth, turn it around and do another eighth for three and three quarters. There we are. So then I think I'm going to go with the berry burst. Yep. So my berry burst is going to be four. by five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter. There we are. So now that I've just made a bunch of little tiny strips everywhere, let's clean those up. And now I'm gonna bring this and look how beautiful that is together. Isn't that gorgeous? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab this little stamp that has the accent for the flower and I'm going to grab the Blackberry Bliss ink and I'm going to come right to this base of this flower and I'm going to go ahead and give it that beautiful accent right there and even this one mm, this one can get it There we go. Do you see those? Do you see how that just gives so much to it? So we're going to set that there. Let's go ahead and get that off there. All right. Now, from there, I'm going to go ahead and layer these two together. I'm not going to wrap any ribbon around or anything like that. So let me go ahead and do that. Now, this um, envelope is thinner than the cardstock, so you just want to be aware of that. You don't want to put so much glue that it wrinkles and warps. So then I'll go ahead and I'll lay that down, line it up around. And there we are, that's very pretty. So let's go ahead and bring this in. Look how nice that's going to be. So let's go ahead and glue that down. So I don't know if you have had a Stampin' Up! kit before or a paper pumpkin subscription, but they are just wonderful. Again, for people who are on the go, people who are new to crafting, who don't have many supplies, or people like me that take the kit, and again, I loved this kit just the way it was. And I actually had another one and I did the kit just the way it was and then I decided to um, get some more. It's very pretty, isn't it? That's so pretty. All right, so now let's bring in these pieces that I have. I've got this beautiful piece. We've got the gold. I've got, let's see what labels I still have. I think I have that label. I don't think I have another one of the other. Let's see. I do have two little, <laughs> I have two little leaves here that I clipped off. Yep, I think that was the only labels I still have. Those labels, like so. 
All right. That's all I needed to know. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this right over here because I think that's perfect for this card. I don't think the card needs much more of anything else. But we are going to go ahead and clip off a little bit of this greenery because I'm going to bring this greenery and put it right under here like so. See how that's giving that nice little effect like that? So that's going to go under there. And then some of this gold is going to come in here, but I don't need all of it. So let's go ahead and we'll break it in half right here. Well, that just broke off. We'll break this off right here. because I think that's great. We're going to bring that in into it. And then maybe I'll bring this other one down in here as well. Kind of like my other card where we're just going to bring some of these pieces, give some great dimension. Even my little leaves right here, I have two of them. Could come in. Kind of just filling it. I could even bring in this here. Let me go ahead and take off. See, nobody says you have to keep your kits exactly the way they were designed come in for more and just really give a bunch here so that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna build this over here and then I think I'm gonna bring in some of the white so let's put that one down the white ribbon definitely want your glue for this and again I don't need to glue this whole thing down I want it to have some dimension so I'm gonna bring that one just kind of come in in like that Then I'm going to bring this piece right here and I'm going to grab my Barely glue. It's just this finer detail. You can use your fine adhesive tip glue from Stampin' Up as well if you have that. And that one's going to come in and I'm just going to kind of guesstimate about where I want it. I think I might like to have more so let me Clip that off. Clip that. Peel that one off too. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this in again. We want this just going to kind of be like right in here so I can see for myself where these other ones are going to go. All right. There's that one, and this one, this one's going to come just like so. This little one, I think this little one's going to come right next to this one, like that. Fill it in a little bit more there. And then I have a little bit more of that greenery. Where did it go? Oh, I got my leaves. This little leaf could come in here. I'm not really liking that leaf but I have more of this and I think this is what I need. I need more of this. Feels like it's pudging up there. So what if I bring it over here? Maybe I'm getting in a little too deep here. I think so. Let's keep it like that, and then let's go ahead and do our sentiment. I think what I'd like to do is come over here again with the Unbounded Love. I 
and I think I am going to put another happy birthday, hope, faith, peace. Let's see. Now these stamps are a little bit larger than you think they are. I think I'm going to do hope. Let me go ahead and put my pen back in my glue. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe not, right? It's the way it always goes. You think you got it? I use my finger to help me. Oh my goodness, it's not happening. Let's just not. Okay, so let's bring in hope. And I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss again. Even though my cardstock is berry burst, there we are. And let's grab this white ribbon and see if this is going to do us any good here. Have it coming this way like so. And I think that's going to look great. So what I like to do is I bring in my stamp and seal and I simply put in a bit of glue that's going to hold my ribbon in place for me. Now, of course, I'll be cutting that ribbon down a bit, but I don't really worry about the length of it, just that it's long enough. And then I'm going to use my dimensionals. I'm going to make sure this has quite a bit of dimensionals because it has to adhere down to the ribbon, but also adhere to the card. So, there we are. And I'm going to come in here. Put that down. It's not straight. Let me get that straight. And then I'll go ahead and trim my ribbon. I don't want the flower to get covered up. There we are. So look at that right now. Isn't that beautiful? It's just so pretty. So let's get the gems. And then we'll do the inside of the card. And that will make the fifth alternate card for the Kindness Expressions Kit. But again, the, all of the designed cards are beautiful just the way they are. But again, it allows me that opportunity to simply put the kit together the way it is if I'm in a hurry or if I'm going on a trip and I just take the kit along with me. This is where I like to play and think about where do I want to put this last gem. <laughs> now you notice I was using my other blocks. I wasn't using this, but again, this would be going with me on my trip to take it along. So again, kits are for everyone. Now that has a beautiful berry burst layer. And let me tell you about inside of the card. I really like to have the outside and inside have the same feeling and weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this Berry Burst and go ahead and cut a layer. Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's here, really. 
I'm going to cut a layer at five and a quarter by four. Four by five and a quarter is a layer. And then my white will be three and three quarters by five. Just a quarter inch smaller on each side. All right, so we'll go ahead and just put this right down on the inside. There we are. And then this one here, it says, hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow. So let's grab that one. It's so true. Now, if you do not know, in just a couple more days, bonus days are starting with Stampin' Up! And that means, ooh, it's a little crooked. Um, for every $50 you spend US, you will earn a $5 bonus coupon. There are no limits in the month of July for however many coupons you earn. And then you get to redeem those in August, all of your bonus coupons. Now check out the Stampin' Up! kits. Get yourself a couple, a few kits. Maybe subscribe to the Monthly Paper Pumpkin. And do a three month subscription and then you'll get a $5 bonus coupon. Try out that subscription. Or check out any of the kits that are available. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is take this piece right here I'm going to get myself a nice little piece of this that I can put along the bottom of the card. For some reason, I had gotten a bit of rough edging here. So there we are. And I'll go to three, I'll go to uh, almost three quarter. There we are. Got a nice piece there. And that's, was that five? We'll go this side. And that was five. Grab my liquid glue. Again, want to be light with the glue because this was the envelope. Oh, it goes this way, though. The flowers did have a direction on them. I like using the liquid glue when I do this because I can manipulate it. That's beautiful. Hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow. Let's go ahead and grab our Wink of Stella on that. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our envelope. So let me grab my envelope because we're going to go ahead and use that envelope. I've got a white envelope and that's going to can go right here on my envelope right up to the top and have a little border edge if I want or I can take it and I can put it on the inside of the envelope right here and bring it down enough that you still have adhesive right here. I do really like it on the outside though. So we're going to do that. We're going to put it on the outside. Now this is just using the part of the envelope from the kit and creating something new. I love it. Now I'm going to have this come right to the top so it can have a little bit of a border edge along the flap.
And I need a little bit more glue here. There we go. And of course, a little Wink of Stella on these flowers too. And that flower piece. I know I did a little Wink of Stella there, but I can still stamp, so let's try that. There we are, that's cool. Still have that Wink of Stella showing. <laughs> All right, so still have a tiny little bit at this point of my kids. Let's take a look again. There's that beautiful envelope now that coordinates so very well with the card I just did. That's so much fun. Then we still have this one here that's great for something else. And again, you can see my other alternative cards here. There's one and two, three. I love this one with the spotlight. And again, this one here, really, really enjoyed doing this one. And again, the instructions, if you want to do it just like the kit, again, it has everything you need. And then once you've done your kit, you have a stamp set, you've got supplies, if you've gotten that type of kit, for more and more projects. I appreciate you stopping in today. I hope you got some inspiration. This was the Expressions of Kindness kit, now available at Stampin' Up! Check out the link below and go check out all the great kits that are available. And a few more days, a couple more kits will be joining them and bonus days. So don't forget to check out all those things. I will have a blog posted with all of my projects so you can see what I created. And I would love to know which of the projects you loved best. So be sure to like and comment and let me know. Share. And if you're not a follower, please do follow. I appreciate everyone who joins along with my creative journey. So until next time, happy stampin'.